Let's take her back. I could have cut this stuff out, but I've already hit record. Hopping back in. Oh wait, whoops, I didn't look at the patch notes. Dang it, I said I was gonna do that. Oh, uh, maybe we can bring him up. Wait, normally they're on Steam. That's why I'm so shocked by this. Wait, here it is, patch notes. Balance changes. Oh, they nerfed Evolved Wasp. No, they did nerf his deck. They did nerd. They buffed Mystique. Nakia got super buffed. She was 3 2 before. She's 3 3 at Wild Sun. Super buff. Oh, but, but give all cards in your hand plus one power rather, rather than the two leftmost. Oh my gosh, there's so many changes. It's crazy. Here, well, let's get into this. We can, we can go over that at the end of this one. Get it. Oh, no. What are the odds? Wait, this is good. Yes, we got. Yes, we got Psylocke. We can put. We can put Jubilee down here. Yes, Psylocke. You rock. Spider Ham. Of course. Wait, was he? Oh, he's a two-two now instead of a one-one. That's still overpowered! That's still overpowered! Oh god, this game, dude. Thank god he didn't hit Jubilee. Hitting Magneto actually might help. Although sometimes he increased the card's cost, which is very bizarre. Okay. I didn't really want Gambit, but that happened. It did help, though. It'd help us actually win that. This is my only play, so why not do it? Oh wait, what? It was over there too? Oh no, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice the one on the left. What? Dang, dude, I can't just at a glance see this stuff. That's not good. Oh, thank goodness he ignored it. Wait, he may have just done that for raw power. There's literally nothing to play until turn 6 comes up. Oh, snap. Unless he's saying cheese, I should win this. Maybe just saying cheese, my A. It's Kingpin, after all. If he Juggernauts, I'm just gonna go over here. I don't think that's gonna be that big of an issue. Oh, he just changed you, my A. And they caged. Um, I'm losing that no matter what. Because of how, because of the weaker, yeah. I'm losing that no matter what I play. Oh wait, no, if I played- Oh, I forgot Kitty Pride has power. I could've won that. The buff Kitty Pride. The, um, nerf Kitty Pride actually could have won that. She's nerf buffed. I would have gone to six. I mean, now I know he has it. Of course he has it. This is freaking conquest mode. I should have seen that. Now we know for sure, though. You just gotta hope they don't have stuff, but they always have it. They're so freaking lucky. I can't even, dude. Getting a new three cast card for this deck is actually very good, because we often have no three card. Three, um... Well, we occasionally have no turn three play. That this has fixed that, basically. It still could theoretically happen, but it's very unlikely now. The thing is, with we can just skip it. Oh no! But then we can just use a turn five with Domino. Hey, we didn't get Gambit against this spot. Although he may kill the Raptor, so it's all good. 
I think I've seen a play to dailies. I, oh my goodness, it's the worst. On turn five, cards cost one more. Oh no, I didn't notice that. Actually, it wasn't revealed yet before I did that strategy. Oh no. <sighs> well, good thing magic's cheaper. She can still be played there by herself anyway. I mean, that was ideal. That's what we need to actually win. I actually don't want to create more turns now, I don't think. Oh wait, don't I? Because I need more than 20 power victories, yeah. Yeah. The daily is still here. Normally I wouldn't do this, but for the, for the daily I will. I don't even care about winning it. Kitty would have been playable, she isn't now. Stegron! Then move an enemy from here to another location. Ouch! That was brilliant! There goes our more than 20. Oh wait, we can still maybe get it here. We can still maybe get it here. We can Professor X here. I doubt it will work, but we can try. Thomas Magic's power is key to our deck. Wait, he has a Giganto too. Could still maybe win. Instead of saying, jeez. Oh, he did Professor X there. What's he do to that? Oh, uh, he'll win tiebreak. He'll win tiebreak. I didn't calculate that. We're dead. I snapped a little too early. Really? No, I won tiebreak, didn't I? No, I snapped just fine. I could only do six damage. Yeah, he didn't. Re well, he didn't know what I stole with um. White Queen. He should have known I had that Chicanto, though. Dude, I can't believe we got a victory out of that. Dude, that may have been the new magic, actually. So we essentially just saved two mana in our deck. Although Kitty Pride's weaker. But, I mean, she just seems kind of fair now. Because, yeah, her utility is just really good against Jean Grey now for spamming multiple cards to go around Jean Grey. I still like it. And she's still just playing better than... Although that's the sad part, now she's just playing better than Quicksilver. In every way. Oh, but Quicksilver you always have. There's still that. There's still that. Which would have been nice right now, but it didn't happen. Okay, that in the middle is not great, but something. What are the odds? I wanna wait. I think I wanna hit him with Professor X turn 4. Maybe even there. Let's hope I draw Professor X. Playing different's a little risky here. That's fine. You might think I don't have Psylocke when I do. Because I'm seeing a whole lot of value gambit right now. Oh my goodness. He just... And Baron Mordo can still make her unplayable. I mean, that's the point of this card. Ooh, it's the more cards you have zone. Yeah, it's Professor Xing it. Although, is it better to pr Professor X here, actually? That I don't know. Wait, that actually helped me. That actually helped me. Now, this doesn't give me a great tiebreaker potential. But I think it's the play. Because I don't have Magneto right now.
I know turn five what cards have to be played here, but that's why side locking the Professor X is great. Also, it's for the daily, for the one card victories. Oh no, it won't be one card because he's gonna spam, but it's still be. Um... Oh no, it won't be one card. He doesn't allow the others to spam in. Why do you put that there? That's a little odd. Oh god, she can summon Kitty again. Whatever. I'm afraid moves to destroy it. Turn six. Don't worry about it. Those ushers are dead. Well, that will give him ultimate. the final turn. Oh, but he has Sing Chi. He has fracking Sing Chi. Yeah, I just have to make sure that I can still win here. Dang, yeah, because he can counter my daily. He can counter my daily. We might bump one of them over, but hopefully I'll still win there. But he may win the tie break here, because it's just the downside of playing Professor X. But maybe I'll kill someone, and then I'll win the tie break again. Daredevil, and then... Oh, he's Sturgeon. Yeah, I, I did two cards, didn't think I'd do that. Wait, what? Oh, because it tied. No, I still won, though. Victory. Even with the kill, because Rogue was weak. Gambit got the win, holy crap. Gambit got the win. Shout out to Gambit. Had he killed here, we... Oh, no, I still would have... Yeah, we wouldn't have tied then. Dude, the Gambit play there was just baller. Heck, yeah. Dude, shout out to Magneto, though. He's the one that pulled Cosmo away so then Gambit's abilities could trigger over here. Heck, yeah. And poor Magic got pigged. <laughs> yes, but him is 2-2 now. Epic. Okay, let's go over the rest of those patch notes. Dude, that guy's probably not happy with that, but so it goes, but... Yes, and we got some of the dailies done. Professor Axing that metal zone is very risky, because you're taking away a chance of potential tiebreak victory, but also I didn't want to put it up in the air, because you could just saying, gee, that zone and frick me! That's why you Professor X it on top of that. That's right. I wasn't even thinking of that, but that's why you do that. I subconsciously knew, though, because I've done that before. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, that was a quick, that was a quick itch video, but that's, that's okay. Because uh, cause we're going to talk now about the patch notes. And I can actually, like, switch over and show you it now. Ah, uh, yeah, see, because they have saying, gee, I can't get this. Ah. <sighs> I really do not want to play this game all day. Oh, well, it's a mutant way. It's, it just feels dumb to not be playing that mode. Like, I could play the other mode. Maybe I should today, because I, I do have a lot of other stuff to do. We could just play this other mode to try to cheese it. Maybe there'd be less chance of saying cheese. There probably would be. I might have to do that. Because I did want to try Ultron in that other deck. But I don't know if Ultron can actually get to 20 more power that other deck. We could look. Um. But I don't know, I could just use this deck too. Because I need to see if there isn't more issues with this deck. I just feel like it's dumb though, because we'll have like a chance in this thing to get more of these points. But I almost everyone is saying cheat though. It just seems dumb. It just seems dumb to play that mode when almost everyone is saying chi. When I'm trying to get this daily done. Yeah, I'm just not gonna... I, I, let's just try something else. See if it's faster doing it the other way. Although it might not be. Honestly. Anyway, here. This is gonna look jank for a second. But this is the only way I know how to do this. Here it is. You're seeing it right. Yes, you're seeing it. No, you're not seeing it. Now you're seeing it. Okay, patch notes. This is what they did. You can just pause it. New visuals and sound effects with the following called Shuri, Infinite, Sabertooth, Agent 13. There's a new sound effect for Sabertooth? Oh, should we make a Sabertooth deck? I mean, I don't like him, but we could. Dude, I want to hear that. 
Break it, dude. Let's make a saber tooth deck and try to get 20 more power. Why not? With the, we could all, I could also bring in my infinite deck to try to show that off. God, my infinite, my infinite deck is very old. I'll have to see if we can change stuff in it. Card updates. You can just pause these. But essentially, it's the evolved stuff. They were nerfing it them too, which thank goodness. Because yeah, you can't nerf Mystique without doing that. Because yeah, the evolved decks are just crushing my poor X Men. Here's the game at buff. Well, I mentioned that forever ago. Three three. Text only. Your opponent must discard the lowest cost card in their hand. On reveal, discard the lowest cost card from your opponent's hand. Okay, that's probably just for continuity. Of other cards. Okay, here's Black Cat. Black Cat is almost never played nowadays. Earlier on, she was. Love her as a character. If this is in your hand at the end of your turn, discard it. If you end the turn with this in your hand, discard it. Okay, Bucky Barnes. Oh wait, we actually may use Bucky here, actually. Old, when this is destroyed, create the Winter Soldier in its place. When this is destroyed, replace it with the Winter Soldier. Huh, Cerebro. Ooh, Cerebro got something new. Your highest cost, cost cards get plus two power. Your highest cost cards have plus two power. Well, they're just fully unifying lingo. I suppose lingo. You gotta know my lingo. Lingo. Move your highest power cards to this location. Move your highest power card to this location. Oh, I see. See, it's one or multiple. Yeah, yeah. That that was actually a big change. That actually mattered a ton. When a card moves here, this gets plus two power. When a card moves here, this gains plus two power. Yeah, yeah, they're just unifying term terminology. Wait, this didn't actually talk about... Wait, what? This isn't talking about the change to... That's not up yet. That's not live yet, then, for peace. Huh. This, is, this didn't talk about magic cost change at all. Oh, well, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Um... Do I want to make the new deck now? Nah, let's just separate the modes. I want to hear Sabertooth and Infinite sound effects. I wanted to play the 20 more power too, and I literally have Give Me 4 to Power Win deck. Which has Infinite! Um, there might be other... Oh, I do have Rescue, actually. There might be other things we could do here. Um, I could give Infinite a picture back to here, but like, Mysterio is just, I like a Morse character. Oh yeah, Arnim Zola doesn't really need to be here. Arnim Zola is such a strange choice. Oh, he's for if there's a turn six, you can destroy Infinite and spawn him. That's exactly what that is if I fight magic. Actually, magic in this deck might be really good, actually. Now that she's a 3-3. Oh, but I'm using these other mutants I hardly ever use over here. Yeah, I still can't- I- that's right, I don't make these a full meta deck, I still get some mutants in here. And these are our mutants, and then Sunspot's also our mutant. Because he plays great with, us uh, skipping a turn with Infinite. Any other new ones I want to put in, though? Oh no, well, we'll check that out next video. Thank you so much for watching, and may your tale eternally be retold. You can like, sub, and do all this stuff if you'd like. And, uh, anyway, catch you later. I may think over the deck before that, too. Just to save on you guys' time and stuff. Well, let me know how you want decks made, but I think I'm going to think of it and then just make it. And just explain why. Anyway, later.